The S-Space options control how S-Space displays data and interacts with your session. The Options command displays the Options dialog, and the Zoom tab controls how S-Space zooms in on dimensions. And the Display tab controls how S-Space displays dimension member names and data. As a matter of fact, there are five tabs of options available to you. Too many to discuss in this short webinar. We've got the Display tab and the Zoom tab that we've already talked about, and then there are others called the Mode, Style, and Global tab. Now that we've zoomed a couple of dimensions, our report has more detail, but it might not be looking quite the way you want it to. There's another command called Pivot that changes the orientation of what you are viewing. In other words, I can take something that's in the rows area, like our year dimension or our product dimension, in this case the year dimension, and use the sbase pivot command to tell sbase that I want it to move from the rows area up to the columns area. As you see now, we have the same data that we did before, products and quarters, but shown in a completely different display. Same data, different analysis. The pivot command is great for viewing the data in exactly the way you want to see it. What is any number in an S-Base report? Every number in an S-Base report is simply the intersection of all of the dimensions within the database, as displayed in the report. Again, this number, 7030, is my root beer number for quarter two for all measures, markets, and scenarios. There are actually three commands that you can use to reduce the amount of data you see in your report. One is the zoom out command. And when I'm done, you can see that I only have the measures member left in my report. But there are two other commands I can use to reduce the detail. One is called remove only and it simply means select which members you don't want to appear from a dimension in your report and you can select more than one and you can actually select more than one from more than one dimension. I'll do the sbase remove only command and now those members have been removed from the report. And the opposite of remove only of course is keep only and use sbase keep only to retain only those members in my report. Easy, wasn't it?